Wait. What, what, are you, what are you saying? I like guys. I've always hated those people! Oh, it's so loud and annoying! If it was up to me, I'd get rid of all of them and burn all those rainbow flags! Hey, Dad. Hey. Uh, can we talk for a second? Yeah. You know I always have time for you, my boy. What's going on? I know you do. Um... But there's something I need to tell you. Wait, wait, wait. Don't tell me. It's something about girls, isn't it? <laughs> You're getting any action? You know, son, I haven't seen you bring a pretty woman to this house yet. And when I was your age, I was quite the stud. <laughs> you can learn anything or two from your old man right here. That's actually what I wanted to talk to you about. I've met someone. Oh my gosh, he's finally met a girl. <laughs> You know, son, love, love is such a beautiful and wonderful thing. Yeah, it really is. I've never felt this way before. I'm really happy, Dad. Oh my gosh. So, tell me, what's this girl's name? Now, come on, son. Don't keep me in suspense here. Well, his name is Louis. That's what I've been trying to tell you. I'm gay. Wait. What, what, are you, what are you saying? I like guys. I've always hated those people! Oh, it's so loud and annoying! If it was up to me, I'd get rid of all of them and burn all those rainbow flags! But Dad, when you say those things you're saying them about me, don't you care about me? As long as you're one of those dancing fairies, I'm never gonna accept you as one of my sons. Do you understand that? No, get out! Get out! Get out of you with one of your own! I Isaac, what's wrong? What's wrong, sweetie? You talk to me. <laughs> I hate that. I'm never coming back. Oh, no, sweetheart. Eddie, what is going on? Our son just ran out of here crying, saying that he hated you. Well, that boy just told me that he's gay. Ain't no son of mine gonna be gay. Not in this house, he's not, Claire. Why can't you love and accept him for who he is? Because, Claire, it's morally wrong to be gay. Don't you see this? It is written, Claire, Leviticus 18.22, a man shall not lie with another man as he does with a woman. And if he's going to learn to be a man, then he should learn to be a man like me, like his father. Shouldn't he? Do you remember what my parents told me the first time I brought you home? Claire, yes, of course I remember. They rejected me because I'm Latino, because of my brown heritage. Call me a bunch of awful names. Wetbag, Chupacabras, Jimmy Chang. And I stuff. stood by you to defend you because I loved you for who you were. And I never let them talk to you like that again. They didn't accept you because of your heritage or the color of your skin, but I didn't care because I just saw the man that I loved. So now you're telling me you can't accept our son for who he loves? This is different though, Claire. Why? Because he gets to choose who he likes? Maybe our son was born this way. Who he loves, who he chooses to love is his choice. And our job as parents is to love and support him no matter what. This is difficult. It hurts inside. If you turn your back on him now, for who he chooses to love, then you are no better than my parents. You might be right. Oh my gosh, you're absolutely right. How can I let my own ignorance just get in the way of being a good father to my son? I rejected our own son, just like your parents rejected me, Claire. Hey, hey, you have the opportunity 
to go and talk to your son and tell him that you still love him and support him no matter what. No matter who he chooses to love. No. It's too late now. It's just some pretty awful, mean, horrible things to our son, Claire. I don't think he can fix it now. I don't think he's coming back. Don't worry. I have an idea. You do? <laughs> hey, sweetheart. Can you meet me over the playground? Yeah, about 10 minutes. Okay, I'll see you soon. Love you. Bye. What are you doing here? Where's mom? She's not coming. Son, 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 please. Come on, son. Please, have a seat. I want to talk to you about something. I just wanted to tell you that I'm sorry, son. I really am. I'm sorry for... I'm sorry for calling you all those bad names. For telling you that you're not welcome at my house. At your house. For who you are. No one should ever make you feel that way. Not me. Not anybody else in the street. Especially... Not at your own home. So... What made you change your mind? Your mother. She's the one that loved me and accepted me unconditionally. Even when her parents hated my guts. <laughs> I don't know, I think they thought maybe I ate too many beans or something. <laughs> I realized that it was wrong of me to reject my son for who he truly was. So... You're okay with me being your son, even though I'm gay? Even though you're gay, yes. Because that's who you truly are, son. You know? This is the playground where I used to bring you when you were just a little kid. You were always so full of energy. <laughs> I just had to watch out and make sure you wouldn't get hurt, you know? That was my job. Isaac, the world is not always what it seems like, you know, as you, as you grow up and you get older, you'll see that it's a very dark place. And it's just, it's just in me, it's, it's my job to protect you from it. I realize I failed at that. But what I want you to know, son, is that Isaac, you will always be my son. Always. No matter who you love or how you choose to lead your life, you will always, always be my son. There can be no wrong that you could ever do that will make me stop loving you. And I want you to remember that no one should tell you how to lead your life, even those who are close to you. Because that is your choice how to lead your life that's your choice and as your father i'll always love you okay my son i love you dad i love you too <laughs> we're all born different but that difference is exactly what makes each and every one of us unique just because you don't understand somebody else's difference it doesn't necessarily mean that they don't need your love or your support. Every one of us are human. And so we all need to be loved and supported. If you want to watch more videos like these, more stories like these, remember to hit subscribe or hit like. And remember, share these videos with your family and friends because that's what we're doing here at Generation Hope. Making the world a better place one story at a time.